Have you made those Instagram highlight cover things yet? In today's video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to get those done. Hey guys, I'm Kate Danielle. Welcome to my channel. My goal is to help the DIY designer look great online so you can get back to doing more of what you love in your business. So let's talk about Instagram stories. Have you seen these cute little cover icons? I just love them. And this is a task I could totally overcomplicate trying to make just look perfect. Uh, but it should really only take a couple of minutes. I'm going to show you the fastest way to make those in Canva. Step one, you want to list out the topics that you think you want to highlight on your Instagram feed. Don't worry, you can always come back and add more later, but it's a great idea just to go ahead and brainstorm them out and create as many as you can in one go. Step two, let's head over to Canva. So step two is to head over to Canva. And yes, just ignore the million tabs that I currently have open. You want to use custom dimensions. And your size should be 1080 by 1920 pixels and click design. And I think the easiest and cleanest way to set up Instagram highlight covers is to use a background color and a little icon that matches the topic you want to highlight. So click on background and you can select your color. If you don't have your brand colors uploaded, just go find your color code with a free online color tool and you can paste it in here. And then just start searching for icons. So if you want to highlight your new blog post, you can search for blog. And now I am in Canva for work, so my free options may vary from yours, but there are some great free options in Canva. You could also check out Pixabay or Google. Uh, just make sure that if you're using Google, you do come up to Tools and set the usage. It'll look like this. Tools, Usage Rights, Labeled for Reuse. And you can download those and upload those into Canva. I like to keep these to as few colors as possible, and even one is great. You want to size this a pretty decent size and get it centered onto your workspace by dragging it and getting those little purple guides to show up. And continue on to your next topic. Say you want to hi highlight your new videos on YouTube. And you are going to want to roughly make these about the same size. And again, center it. And once you finish making all the topics that you want to highlight, go ahead and download those and transfer them to your phone. I am working with a Mac, Mac and an iPhone, so my favorite way is to just airdrop them. But you could also use Dropbox or email them to yourself. Now let's move on to getting these set up on Instagram. On Instagram, swipe your thumb to the right across your screen to add a story. Then click the little icon below to bring up the photos on your phone. Select the one you want to highlight first and add it. You then have to go back to it and click that little plus button down in the right and name your highlight. Don't worry, you can always fix any mistakes. Click done and then go view your highlight. Click the More button to be able to move the photo around and to rename it. You use your fingers to move your photo around and size it. And just exit out of it and you can go view your new highlight on your Instagram account. That's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments what you are highlighting on your Instagram feed. And be sure to subscribe for good vibes. Also, if you're hanging out on Instagram, which I'm assuming you are because you're watching this video, be sure to check me out there so I can say hey, at Kate Danielle Creative. You can check out my stories and get behind the scenes of things I'm working on, such as this setup I got going on right here. So now it's time for you to go do more of what you love in your business.